Hey guys. How are y'all doing today? I'll get you off this tripod here. Merry Christmas. Uh, hope you all have a blessed and wonderful day. And most of all, uh, don't forget what this day is about. This day is truly about our, uh, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, he's my Lord and Savior, and uh, I thank Him for everything He has done and everything He does for me daily. But um, let's get on to the announcement of the video. Uh, it is Christmas. My wife is in there cooking some wonderful dinner for us. And I'm out here making a video. Uh, probably wonder why. So, let's get to it. It's an announcement. Uh, most of you all know, you watch my YouTube videos, and I really, really do appreciate that, and I really, 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 really do thank you all for that. I have had fun making all the projects that I make. Uh, to be honest with you, I've done quite a few. I'd have to look back at my video to remember most of them. But... Uh, I've got an announcement to make, and I hope it does not upset you all. As you all know, I recently finished my trike. Uh, other than my brakes, and I've got to get something on there to keep the motor from moving just a little bit. Because the chain will pop off. I have taken it out for a test drive, and this thing will do some serious drifts. <laughs> Uh, I've still got to build, finish building my four wheel drive. I have got to take it out for a test drive. The belt that I had on there, I just had it on there for simply testing. It was a bad belt, I knew it, and it broke on me. But it did perform good. My Sears. I've got that pretty well how I want it. With the, uh, with the exception of the lights in the, uh, the grill. Uh, I am going to put some LED lights right there. Still gonna finish wiring up my winch. And then this will be done. Uh, my, my son's build that we're doing. We are fixing to finish this. Uh, like I said, I've got, this is pretty well done. This is pretty well done. This is honestly, I was gonna make it look like a Jeep body. Uh, There's a gentleman on Facebook that had uh, just recently redone a, a Jeep. It was a fiberglass body and it looked amazing. I want to do mine like that, um, but I'm not going to throw away, throw away all the money that I've already got into the metal work and all this on here. So this will be staying like this. I will put in a, be putting a, a row cage system over it, but other than that, it's pretty well going to stay like this. Uh, the exhaust is going to be stock on it because I'm going to get my family to be able to ride this with me. So, it does have the stock exhaust on it, so it's nice and quiet. Um, like I said, the builds are almost uh, all done. My son's build, we don't like much on it. Uh, we're going to put some better tires up front. Um, going to put some safety stuff on it for him. And other than that, I'm pretty sure, I mean, we'd have to walk outside. To see my little scrap pile like I've, I've got you know built up around back yeah that's that's pretty much pretty much it so on to the announcement as I've told you all on Facebook if you're following me or if you've in a group that I'm in and you've seen my post uh, I have several I think I think I have two or three I may I may only have two no, I've still got three. I've got three all-wheel steer transaxles. There's one, two, three. Amongst a bunch of other hoard that I've collected. Uh, but that's besides the point. Anyhow, I've got three. I've got two uh, Peerless 820 rear ends. I've actually got three, but I'm only going to use two because one of them is a buddy of mine. 
um, I'm going to make sure I've got two of the matching 820s. That's the reason why I said it was three. Uh, but other than that, this is my parts lawnmower for my grass cutter sitting over there. I have an old uh, Huffy. I guess it is a Huffy. Uh, same thing as Todd. Uh, Fearless Front, Todd Christopher. Uh, you can find him on uh, YouTube underneath of uh, Fearless Front. He had, he is really, really no, notorious and famous <laughs> for a build that he done with one of these. And this, and you just need to go check him out. The dude has done some amazing work with one of these, and it will fly. The the thing is bad. But on to the announcement. <clears throat> After I get all of my builds completed, the current project, I'm only going to do one more. Uh, lawnmower build and that's it as far as the lawnmowers go now I know you're probably bummed out or you're probably probably happy yeah the dude's finally getting off of you know well I'm not getting off of YouTube <laughs> but like I said one more lawnmower build um, I'm, I'm hoping that the last one is really gonna be epic but I will still cover me working on lawnmowers uh, going out and playing on my toys uh, and the reason why I'm only going to do one more is because I want to venture out on YouTube. I want to start doing other kinds of videos. Uh, I just uploaded the video of me replacing cab corners in my 1984 Chevy uh, Silverado short oil base. I'm not a professional, but I want to learn these things. So there's no other way to learn it, but do, do it yourself, you know, get help from people that knows how to do it. So I'm, I'm diving in there and trying, you know, I'm doing more than what most people would do. But, like I said, one more build. And, I'm going to tell you what my plans are for this build. That is a, a Murray wide body. It's already got the Peerless 820 in the rear end. Alright, these things are pretty beef. Uh, I could use this body. Now, the reason why I say this body is because I'm going to build it with a custom suspension. Custom framing. The only part of a lawnmower, honestly, that I'm going to be built using is probably the body. Uh, my plans are to build another full wheel drive. Um, but I'm going to try to get away with not using any um, all wheel steer knuckles. What I plan on doing is the framing is going to have to be custom because it's going to be all four wheels are going to be independent suspension. Um, they're going to have four shocks on all four. And the way I plan on doing that is I'm going to have to cut the axles down on the Peerless 820s. I have to cut them down enough to where I can run a pillow block bearing on up against the transmission casing on each side, front and back. And I'm thinking what I can do is either get a donor four wheel drive four wheeler, or uh, you know I may be able to use that. Um, I'm going to build my own A arms, uh, you know the top and bottom. But if I can get some donor hubs and axles from a four wheeler, that'd be great. If not, I'm going to go to a salvage yard and try to get a couple of vehicles uh, that are front wheel drive. And uh, I can use the axles and maybe the hubs out of that. Um, and then I have to take like the transmission, the hub where the axle bolts up to the transmission, the hub on the transmission. I'll take both sides of those off and I will weld those onto the axles of the Peerless 820. Then I'll be able to bolt the axles from the uh, front wheel drive or the uh, four-wheeler axles either way I'll be able to bolt those up and use those as my uh, new axles that's how I'll be getting the uh, the independent suspension as far as the rest of it, it's all gonna be custom um, most of it I'll have to uh, build as I go change some things but that's my plan on building the ultimate lawnmower as for what I've got to power this thing nothing yet um, I will be looking for a motor, but I want it to be really, really, really mean. 
uh, as far as, you know, maybe 20 to 20 plus horsepower. I say mean, but you know, I've got a 16 horse Vanguard, but to me, I want something bigger. Uh, the full wheel drive here, it's got a 22 horse intake. But with that being said, again, if you are sad, I'm sorry. If you're happy, cool. But that's going to be where I'm going to be standing at, you know, from, from here on out. Um, you can follow me on Facebook. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to help. I'm still going to be giving my nosy little input on other people's builds. Um, but I want to be able to, like I said, branch out on YouTube. And uh, most of all, most of the time we, we have fun building these things. And I, I mean, I do. Speaking for myself, I have a blast building these things. And sometimes I have more fun building my projects than I do playing on them. But with that being said, I've got some pretty unique projects that I've built. And to be honest with you, I've surprised myself on building this stuff. Uh, sometimes when you jump in there, you have no idea how to do it. And fortunately for me, some people think this thing may be ugly, but it's something that I built and I'm pretty proud of it. As in the drift track. I built this thing from scratch. Um, Y'all have seen my YouTube videos on it. I have never ever bent tubing before in my life. Never. And I just jumped in there and I started building this thing. And I'm happy with how it has turned out. Um, like I said, uh, it saved me. I've seen these things run $3,000 and higher on, you know, on the internet. But I'm happy with it. As well as goes for my Sears. Um, I have taken inspiration from other people, as well as other people have taken inspiration from me. Um, I'm not going to give all the credit just to myself because, yes, we all use each other's ideals every now and then. But the last build that I want to do, um, independent suspension all the way around. I've not seen anybody do that, and I just, I've had it in my mind for a while. I've been trying to contemplate on how I can get by with knowing the independent suspension, and I've been thinking about it for a while. I've ran it across a few people and talked to them about it, and guys, all of you are amazing. We take stuff, lawnmowers, drift tracks, side-by-sides, four-wheelers, whatever, what have you. We take it, we make it do things that they're not even meant to do. And to me, that, that blows my mind just in itself. So, again, please don't be mad at me, but uh, continue to watch my videos if you want. Um, like I said, I will be doing some videos of me riding these things. Um, it's time for me to sit back and have a little bit of fun. I'm not saying I can't ride them as I build them, but uh, my kids are getting older and I want my son to jump in there and work with me on my, my truck. To be honest with you, I want to give the truck to him for his first vehicle. Right now, he's like, eh, you know, Dad, I really don't want something that old. And, but I think after we get done with it, if it turns out half the way I've, I've got a vision, he'll like it. So, please hang in there. Continue watching my videos. Um, we're going to have a blast building this last mower. Uh, have a blast working on the truck and any other project that comes in here, you know, have a blast doing it. Um, my plans later on are to build another safari rack for my truck. Uh, I got rid of the one that I had because it was made for a different style roof rack system. So until then, God bless each and every one of y'all and continue watching. Be safe. Straight up out the woods where I love to stay It's that country white boy that you love to hate Pushing them four-wheel drives cause we love some mud And when we party we ain't stopping till the sun come up